Money is piling into ETFs, and in fact, it's some of the biggest buying we've seen in a very long time. I'm gonna break it down for you today, and then we're gonna look at what stocks tend to do after big, humongous buying. All right, let's get to it. So let's check out mapsignals.com. We're looking at my latest blog post money is surging into ETFs. Look, if you've been following our data for the past month, you'll know we've been pretty bullish and that's because money has been going into stocks and you can easily see that with the big money index. It was oversold a few weeks ago and now it is close to this overbought level. It's at 70%. 80%, that's that red line. You know, you wanna be a little careful adding stocks at that level. Whenever you look under the hood of the market, right, the BMI, we're starting to see some of the biggest buy levels that we've seen literally all year, right? You can see that with these numbers here. So a couple of days where there were over 200 stocks that got bought, that just means share price was going up, volumes were increasing. That's indicative of people getting a little excited about stocks and sometimes that could mean that we are due for a pause because this type of buying rarely lasts. It's kind of the opposite whenever we see big selling. That tends to not last either. The markets tend to rebound. So I'm not at all surprised to see the market give back a little recently. Now for the full enchilada, you can see that ETFs have seen a surge in buying and it is unlike anything that we've seen all year. Now with ETFs, that means that the crowd is starting to get involved, right? There might be a little bit of FOMO, right? People are scared that uh, stock prices are just gonna continue to rally. But what's really interesting about this chart is anytime there's an extreme with ETFs, whether it's on the downside or the upside, we could see prices start to consolidate a little over the near term. So let's finish this off with a study. So how often do we see big ETF buying of this magnitude? Well, since 2010, we've only had 32 days where there were 50 or more ETFs bought in a day, right? Only 32 over the past, what, 12 years. So it's super rare. Here are the forward returns for the market, S&P 500. So one month later, stocks are flat. Three months, they're only up 1.6%. Six months later, 8.5%. 12 months later, 14%. 24% is 24 months later. So what's the bottom line? Near term, expect some chop, right? Don't expect stocks to go straight up. They're gonna be a little bit of give and take. But once you get out to that six to 12, 24 months, we should see some nice, big move to the upside on average. Remember, none of this is personalized advice of any kind. If you like this type of data analysis, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time.